Hello! So this is the back side of the We Need to Know quiz. This is all about decimals. So we're going to do the same process where you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. There are five questions in each row, and you needed to have, get, you needed to have earned at least four out of five to pass each section. And that is what will get you color on my color sheet where I'm recording students' knowledge. But it's always great to get them all right, so let's go for that. Number 21. Uh, this section also says rewrite vertically and then add. So number 21 is already written vertically, so we can just go ahead and add. 4 plus 4 is 8. Bring your decimal straight down. 4 plus 5, uh, I'm sorry, 5 plus 9 is 14. And you get 14.1. Now when you're lining them up, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the decimal in respect to all the digits. So here I can see the decimals are in a straight line. When I add them, my answer, which is the sum and addition problem, the decimal will be straight down. If you cannot do a straight down line from your adding and subtractings with your decimal points, oh, that bled a little bit, then it's not right. So. That's how you know. 3 minus 1 is 2. 4 taking 9 away won't work, so you're going to have to borrow, but the neighbor doesn't have enough, so you're going to have to borrow here. Cross out 1 less 1. 4 can borrow from the 12 now. 12 is cross out 1 less 1. So now you've got 14 minus 9 is 5. 11 minus 8 is 3. And 5 minus nothing is 3, 53.52. Okay, number 23, lining up the decimals, 0 0.9. It's okay that it doesn't go to the end here. This is like nine dimes, and this is like six dollars, eight dimes, and seven pennies, six dollars, 87 cents. So the nine dimes has to line up with the eight dimes, place value. Seven plus nothing is seven. Eight plus nine is 17, carry the one. Excuse me. 7.77. Okay, number 24. We have, for number 24 and 25, a couple of numbers that have no decimal point, and that causes people some difficulties. So we have, in class, used the choral response. I say, if a number has no decimal, and hopefully you know what to say, if a number has no decimal, you would say, the decimal goes behind the number. So let's make the decimal points up here for 7. The decimal would be back here. And for 24 in number 25, the decimal would be right there. So these two decimal points we're making up here. Now, just line up the decimals. You can add them with ease. The seven's going to go under the 15, under the 5 part of it, so the decimals line up. You can choose wherever you want to write it. I just chose to write it over here. As long as I line up the decimals, I'm fine. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry the 1. Hmm, did you notice the cute pattern? We've got 7.77 and 22.2. .2. Kind of fun. Lots of patterns to notice in life, and they will help you. So just look for those. Next, we've got three numbers to add, and sometimes that was the problem for students. They didn't realize that they had three numbers to add. So I'm going to line them up all in this middle area, right underneath this first number. So the 24 is going to line up here, and the 1.113 is going to line up here. Now if it bothers you that you've got these spaces, you can always do the same thing that we are going to do with decimals, subtracting, and we can fill in with zeros. So if you wanted to fill in with zeros, you can, but you don't need to. 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 3. Zero plus, uh, 3 plus 0 plus 1 is 4. 7 plus 0 plus 1 is 8. Decimal straight down. 3 plus 4 plus 1 is 8. And 2. 28.843. Okay. On to subtraction. Again, 4 is less than 7, so you're going to borrow. Can't borrow from this neighbor, so you're going to start here. Cross out 1 less 1. Now the 4 can borrow from the 11. Cross out 1 less 
1. 14 minus 7 is 7. Bring your decimal straight down. 10 minus 3 is 7. And 1 minus 1 is nothing. You don't need anything in front. 7.7 .7 is the answer. 4 minus nothing is 4. 9 minus 2 is 7. Bring your decimal straight down. Three, uh, 6 minus 3 is 3. 3.74. Here we've got to line up the decimal first, so we're going to put it rewritten. These have the same exact digits, so it hopefully wouldn't trick anybody. Subtracting. 2 doesn't have enough, so it's going to borrow from the 9. Cross out 1 less 1. 12 minus 7 is 5. 8 minus 8 is 0. Bring your decimal straight down. 7 minus 5 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. 22.05. Number 29. Okay, a lot of kids had trouble with this. And because a lot of kids had trouble with this, I'm going to rewrite it, the whole thing. I'm going to start off with the 19.1. And I'm going to line up my decimals up right here. I'm going to put the 14.07. Now I'm going to relate it to real life. So this is like you have $19 and one dime. And you need to pay for something that costs $14.07. So this is where definitely you're going to fill in with the zero and then be able to subtract. So the decimal dance song goes, just line up the decimals, you can add them with ease, or fill in with zeros and subtract if you please. So still you've got zero minus seven, you're gonna have to borrow, so you go to the neighbor, cross out one less one, 10 minus seven is three, zero minus zero is zero, decimal point, nine minus four is five, and zero. Now at this point I wanna pause. If you have a better way that you like to subtract, if you wanna count upward, from the 7 to get to 10 and say, okay, 7 plus how many more is 10? Three more. That's going to get your answer just fine also. Use whatever way that you know will make sense with the number sense that you've been building. You've had years of doing math. Go ahead and do it so that whatever way makes sense to you, but make sure that you do get the answer to be 5.03. And you can always check your answer by adding together the lesser numbers and seeing if it equals this greater number. So 7 plus 3 is 10, 14 plus 5 is 19. These two added together do equal this one. Great. Number 13 also, same issue. A lot of students had trouble. So this is really like $12. So we're going to need to add the decimal point behind it, and then we're going to fill in with zeros. I'll do them in red so that you can see them. We're going to need three zeros because the other number has 8.421. It's all the way out to the thousands place. So now we're going to subtract. Again, we're going to need to borrow for these because we do not have enough to subtract these numbers. So we're going to go way over here. And this is another step that you can use. I'll do it in red so you can do it. This is a shortcut with number sense. You don't really need to cross out this one, make it a zero, make this into a 12. Doesn't this look like a 12 already? So it has nothing here underneath. So this looks to be like 12 minus 8. So I'm going to treat it like 12 minus 8. I'm going to do cross out 1 less 1. Now cross out 1 less 1, cross out 1 less 1. We never cross out the 1's digit. 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 2 is 7, 9 minus 4 is 5, decimal straight down, 11 minus 8 is 3, 3.579. Okay, for multiplying with decimals, song goes, and when you're multiplying, ignore the decimals, first find the product, yeah. So we're going to find the product first for numbers 31, 32, 33. And then we're going to go back. So just pretend that these are regular multiplication problems, like 2 times 4, which is 8. Like 12 times 6, which is 72. Like 5 times 7, which is 35. Okay, so the song goes like that. And when you multiply in, ignore the decimals. First find the product, yeah. And then count the decimal places from above. Make the answer have the same total decimal places. Okay, so you count the decimal places from above. Decimal places are digits to the right of the decimal point. So the 2 and the 4 are both decimal places. So this question has two decimal places. So the answer has to have two decimal places. Well, you can make the answer have two decimal places because this number had no decimals. So you start behind it. And I usually use a little symbol of a star. And I move over 
two times. That's where my decimal point's gonna go. Now there's nothing to fill that space, so I'm gonna fill it in with a zero. And if you'd like to put another zero in front, that's fine. Final answer is 0 0.08. If you just wrote 0 0.08, that is also perfectly fine. Number 32 only has one decimal place because if a number has no decimal, the decimal goes behind the number, and that means it would have no decimal places. So here we can see that this is one decimal place. Make the answer have the same total decimal places. 7.2. That's it. For number 33, we've got the 5, the 7, and this 0, three decimal places. So we have to make sure that the answer has three decimal places. We start at the back, move over one, two, three times. We have one extra space, so we fill in with a 0. And you can put an extra 0 in front if you want. 0 0.035 is required. Number 34. 1 times 502 is going to still be that same number, 502. Now again, you're going to have the place value changing when you multiply by the next digit over. Since we're not in this column, we're going to put a placeholder 0 for this column representation. So we're not in this column anymore. We're multiplying 1 times 502, that's going to be the same thing again, 502. We notice that pattern. And now we're ready to add. Easy peasy. But the answer's not done. Go back to the top. If a number has no decimal, the decimal goes behind the number, and it has no decimal places. So we have two decimal places in the question. The answer has to have two, 55.22. Okay, number 35. Nine times two is 18. Carry the one. Nine times eight is 72, plus one is 73. Carry the seven. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 7 more is 34. Again, you can use your fingers if you'd like to at that time. It would be, you just say 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Stop when you get to 7 fingers. Now it's time for the placeholder 0 because we're not underneath this column anymore. And we're going to move to the 4, but before we do that, we need to get rid of our old carrying so we don't get confused. I wrote mine in pen. You can erase yours because you'll be in pencil. Okay, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 8 is 32, carry 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 13, 14, 15. Add 8, 11, 1, oh, that's going to be 0, plus 1, mm, I feel like something's not right here too. Let's work it again. Okay, so 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 8 is 32, uh-oh, the 2 didn't go anywhere, my bad. So, let's start back again just to make sure everything's good. 9 times 2 is 18, carry the 1. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 1 is 73, carry the 7. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 7 more is 34. Okay, I feel really confident with this number, but this one not yet. 2 times 4 is 8. I like how I put the placeholder 0. Now 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 2, I'm sorry, 4 times 8 is 32, but I don't have a 2 down anywhere, so I need to put the 2, and then carry the 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 13, 14, 15. So now, now that looks long enough. Before it looks too short, it wouldn't work out. It doesn't make sense with the way we do numbers. So you look for patterns and you notice things. Anytime you make a mistake, that's why you guys do your, your math in pencil. Just fix it. 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus 2 is 7. 3 plus 5 is 8. We need to get rid of that other carrying because we didn't have it again. So we don't mess up. This time, 3 plus 5 is just 8, nothing to carry, and then you bring down the 1. But you're not done yet. you got to go back to the question and count the decimal places from above. Do you know how many? Do you see it? Yep, 4. So the answer has to have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, boom. Done. Okay, 
the part that's causing people the most difficulty is the division. And we're running out of time, so we're going to do that separately. Thanks.